Everybody knows about these couches. I saw that he was like hated this couch. And I like saw that couch and I'm like, that's a viral moment. I purchased Logan Paul's legendary $90,000 Mercedes Benz couches. Do you still have it? Oh, I don't. I've completely lost track of where all these pieces of the couch are. They're just somewhere out there on YouTube. If anybody out there has a piece of the couch, I would love to uh, purchase it from you to have. I actually want that couch back. What are you most proud of? Now that sounds like a challenge. Today, I'm gonna to be attempting to get a hold of these infamous long lost couches and give them back to the rightful owner, Eric. But first, a brief history lesson. So way back in 2020, Logan Paul was desperately trying to sell these couches that absolutely nobody wanted. But nobody's gonna to wanna to buy these. As soon as you sit on them, you wanna automatically drop yourself into a pit of acid. <laughs> That's where Eric comes in. Uh, I took out an SBA loan for $17,500, showed up at Logan's house, bought the couches, and I thought that that would be a great way to create an episodic series. And that's when the legendary couch series was birthed. A five-part episodic series with the goal of creating something Eric calls couch culture, I like to call it. And it worked. These became the most famous couches to graze planet Earth. They were surfed, thrown out of a plane, fought over, stolen, stolen back, and even blown up. Oh. But don't worry. There's four pieces to this couch, and we only need one. The only problem is that we don't even know if one still exists. So after watching this series multiple times, I found out that the couch was in possession of three main people, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, and Faze Rugg. And Faze Rugg is where our search begins. So like a proper detective, I started DMing everyone and anyone that might know how to get in contact with Faze Rugg. I literally messaged everyone he follows and received a few leads until one of Faze Rugg's followers told me that it could be in possession of a YouTuber by the name of Corey Funk. And upon further investigation, I discovered that he won this couch in a competition that FaZe Rug did a few years ago. And so for the next couple days, I started messaging everyone Corey follows in hopes of new leads. I wasn't getting anything until I got a DM. A Guess. Corey Funk? Yes. No and then something unexplainable happened. Something I definitely wasn't expecting. He left me on red. And so back to it, we kept DMing everybody that Corey follows once again, and finally, I got a message from Corey's editor. So I started messaging his editor about the couches, and he told me that he knew who had them. I asked him who, and he told me it was in possession of a kid named Jason. So I found Jason's account and sent him a message about the couch. He told me that 50 people have already asked about these couches in the past week alone. Nevertheless, he wanted to hop on a phone call to further discuss matters. The only problem was that I was leaving the country for a week with no phone or contact whatsoever. So I left my film Owen with the task of making the call while I was gone. I'm Jason Funk. I'm nervous right now. Hey, how's it going, Jason? Hey. Yeah, so um, do you have a certain figure in mind that you were looking for for the couches? I mean, like, honestly, bro, like, I, like... Okay. All right, I just got back. Uh, I don't know the state of the couches. <laughs> so much work. Okay, all right, let me know. He said, um, the only way we'll be able to get the couches is for a 12K bid. What? And that was a minimum. And he lives in the room. No, I'm kidding, he gave it to us for free. No. For free, he just wants to be part of the video. He's like 45 minutes away. You I, I swear him. to God. No way. I'm not kidding. We got him? We got him, yeah. What? No. <laughs> Let's go, dude. And just like that, we were on our way to pick up the most famous couches on planet Earth. Nice to meet you. Good. Hey, we're here. We're here. This is it. This is a big moment. Oh, this is getting God. real right now. Oh, shit. Dude, I can't believe it's real. It? Dude, I'm touching it. <laughs> Look at that, dude. That's insane, dude. First, I had to take a moment to admire my new possession. And then for the next hour, we transported the 500-pound hunk of absolute beauty into the U-Haul. Okay. We got him. I can't even believe it. This might be, like, one of the best feelings, like, ever. Dude, you put your mind to something, you get it. Yeah, that's uh, super cute or whatever, but uh, now we're looking at an entirely different problem. I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna get this couch to air out. Up, 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 bring the camera up. Don't do that shit. Here's what I'm thinking. Uh, there's this thing called uh, SoFi Stadium, and Arak is holding this thing he likes to call the world's biggest pizza party. It's right there on the 
little whiteboard. So I came up with the idea of infiltrating this pizza party and delivering him the couch there. It's kind of a crazy plan, but I think with enough planning, we might just pull it off. And so planning is exactly what we did. I found out that Pizza Hut was helping with the event, so I started by making fake Pizza Hut media shirts in hopes of entering the event as an employee. I then forged some fake city filming credentials along with his signature from my fake boss, Mitchell Flemings. We then cleaned up the couch as much as we possibly could, and finally, it was time for the heist to begin. Ready? And we were on our way. After a short yet anxiety-inducing drive, we approached our first security checkpoint. Hello. Can I get the SoFi Stadium parking lot? Okay, cool. Thank you. And just like that, we were in. We're here. Uh, this is action time. This is everything we've been building up to. This entire place is littered with police and high-grade security. It's not going to be easy sneaking in here. And with that in mind, we walked over to where the event was later being held. After scoping out the area, we realized there was only one entrance, and it was staff only. But I was so confident in our uniforms that I decided to take my chances. I think we're just going to walk in like we own the place. Tension was rising because as soon as we got in there, we were stopped by security. Uh, we saw where was the uh, media team. Oh, uh, with the media team, so you guys are check in at that table right there. And so after being redirected, we walked up to that table in hopes of somehow getting on the list. Okay, what's your last name? Uh, it's Pembroke. What's your first name? Uh, Jack. J A C K. And you're with the media team. Yes. Oh, uh, the Pizza Hut media team. Oh. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. And by some sort of miracle, all the boys had wristbands and we were walking in there like we owned the place. And we were in! Everything was going perfect until we got stopped. Who are you guys with? Media. Who? Media who? I just pizza. Okay, who's your contact? Mitchell Fleming. No, bro, there's no... You don't know me, you don't know Mitchell? Hey, I don't even care if I, I don't care if I get my... Hey, security? Is there security? Yeah, uh, did you well, uh, didn't really work. Stop filming, please. If I do see you back on this uh, property for this event, uh, we will press charges for trespassing. I will have you trespassing and thrown in jail. Okay? And with this unfortunate news, we decided to pack up and cut our losses because we had officially failed on our first attempt. You thought I was gonna give a pat easy? Come on now. So we went to Target and got disguises and suited up for round two. Only this time, we needed a completely different approach. Okay, get through, get through. Come on, go, 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 go. Yes! So by stadium. And the plan was in action. Okay. Security and cameras were everywhere, so we had to be extra careful. But regardless, I was willing to do whatever it takes to get this couch to Eric. We approached the back entrance of the event just as it was ending and came to a realization. Dude, we can't get in there. There's people at every door. At this point, security was closing in on us, the event was almost completely over, and we didn't even know where Eric was. So as a last attempt, we ran around the stadium to the exit point in hopes of entering that way. But just as we reached the exit point, I noticed someone familiar that was leaving the building. I think I know who that is. This guy might be a huge connection right now. This could be huge. The person I'm referring to here is named Iman, and he just so happens to be a good friend of Eric. I knew this was a connection that could really make or break this whole operation. As he was being surrounded by fans, I decided to make my move. Okay. Can I ask you a question? You're busy. Take this call, and then I, 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 I have a huge question to ask you, okay? There's a high risk. I'm going to get interrupted. Are you ready? Basically, uh -huh. I have the Logan Paul $90,000 Mercedes-Benz couches. No, you f***ing don't. I swear to God, I no, could. But I they're blown out. up! Oh, no, no, not one piece. There's four pieces to this puzzle, and the I found the last piece. piece. It's in a U-Haul right there. You know who I have to give it to? You gotta help me out, dude. Oh, let's go. Lead the way. Oh. Let's go! Oh, shit. Holy shit. Okay. Now, I don't want Eric to know. Yeah, so how do you want to execute this? Well. Just say, hey, there's a kid here who has something incredible. I've never seen anything like it. This is the best gift you've ever received. Is that me? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty I hear it's very stressful. Right now, there's a lot of stuff in the background. You're able to hold this for another day. I, I think it's a really good move. And so I took his advice, and we exchanged phone numbers so he could help us surprise Eric on another day. I wouldn't consider that a fail. It's not going to be a today thing. I don't know. I'm gonna wait for him to text back, call back, have anything back. We came, we saw, and we're gonna conquer. No matter what happens, we're gonna get this couch to him uh, if it's the last thing I do. All right, uh, it's the end of the next day. We have 
literally nothing back from Iman. Uh, we're gonna continue to send messages to managers and friends and anybody that we can and somehow get in contact with somebody that knows Arak. And so we began messaging everyone and anyone that knew Arak or any of his close friends. After two whole months and countless failed leads, we finally received a message from Arak's producer, Hayden. That's insane, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Do. After talking back and forth with Hayden for literally two months, we decided to hop on a call to further discuss matters i'm like shaking right now i think we're just gonna hop on a call hey yo this is hayden we can potentially make something work again i want to set expectation i can't make promise anything there's a world where we could get it I'm super busy and our team's very busy I'll keep in contact send me a follow-up email and then i can connect you with the right people sounds good i really appreciate it <laughs> i'm so happy and so i immediately followed up with hayden and many months went by and no response. Another week down, no response. How many times am I gonna film a video like this? Even Iman texted us back and told us there was no way he could help us. But then, just as everything was looking down, Hayden finally responded and forwarded me to one of Eric's team members. And many months later, we decided to hop on a call to discuss the plan. Hey, how you doing? Six months later, we're here. Yeah, right? Our entire staff is like super, super busy, but I think we can make this happen tomorrow. I'll send you the address. I'm excited too. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> it's happening, baby. It's happening. And so we loaded up the couches in preparation and woke up at 5 a.m. for the big day. After a smooth drive to LA and transferring the couch to a U-Haul, we were just 30 minutes away from the big surprise. Everything's ready to go. My heart is absolutely racing right now. I'm so freaking nervous, dude. Eric's gonna be in the warehouse and he's gonna be doing a business meeting. Right when the business meeting is out, I'm gonna have my connection text me and then that's my cue to bang on the back door and then hopefully Eric comes out and we do the surprise and it all goes perfectly. So with the plan in full effect, we set everything up and I anxiously awaited for the most important text of my life. Eric is in that building right there. I'm literally just waiting on a text message. I think if I learned anything from this whole experience, it's that um, you can do anything you put your mind to. And then after waiting for the longest 10 minutes of my entire life, I received a text. Okay, we're going, we're going. I just got a text, we're going. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. Holy crap, okay. Three, two, one. What's up? Oh, uh, looking for Eric. Okay. Is he here? We really need to talk to him, it's pretty important. Oh, Eric, how you doing, man? What's up? Nice to see you. you I've been looking for you everywhere, man. Where have you been looking? What does that mean? It, it's kind of a long story. What's your name? You didn't even introduce My name's Jack. No, there's a lot happening right there's now. There's a lot so, happening. Okay. Take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Okay. okay. So this is eight months in the making. Okay. This is a surprise for you, right? I know you How want this. Happening? This is. A, this is a, I was just. I was, so you said this is. Uh, You're gonna have to find out, but I know that you want it. Okay. 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 So, bro. All right. I'm excited. Open it up. Go for it. Is there it. a guy in here? You'll have to figure that out. I can't tell if I like you or not yet. This is gonna be the deciding factor. Oh man. This is gonna give you some nostalgia. All right. Let's do it. Bruh. <laughs> Where did you get this? Bro, it's a long story. Bro, Jack! Yes! Jack, how did you do this? I don't actually know if I ever wanted to see this again. Man. Oh uh, man, should we take a seat? Will you take a seat with me? Hell yeah, I will. Wait, should we take it out first? Oh yeah, she's heavy. This is a $20,000 piece of couch right here. Oh, You're giving me a burden by giving this oh, to me. Oh, Even if I wanted to throw this away, like I wouldn't know where to go with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's a team thing. Maybe y'all, your boys can figure it out. Maybe not them. <laughs> we'll figure. We'll do something. Yeah. I'm yeah. actually very appreciative. This is super cool. I'm glad. What do you think I do with this next? Restart uh, the couch series. <laughs> do I restart the couch series. Subscribe to Jack. I just don't know what to do with it next. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments of Jack's video, like, what do I do with this? I mean, what are the odds we do something with it, like a part two? How many likes? I have 300 subscribers, okay, right? You said the like goal, you said the like goal. I would be down. Set like uh, an aggressive like goal. 10,000 likes, and we'll do a part two? Yes, I'm down. I'll do anything with you with the couch. Let's go, okay, I love it. That's pretty much it. I'm leaving. I'm leaving.